quickly. I, I'm trapped in a cage. Something's wrong. I wonder, Delta, do you know why you are here? Have you any idea what my daughter has given you? As I watch you now, I envy your ignorance. You still believe. Persephone, secret home of Sinclair Solutions. I bet against Andy Ryan's vision of harmony and rapture, offered him a quiet place to send anybody who wasn't working out, and now I'm sitting on my own private think tank. Technically, Utopia shouldn't have much use for a detention facility, but if you do business as long as I have, well, you learn to pick a brand name from the writing on the wall. That's her, son. Eleanor Lamb. No matter what you might be feeling right now, this is business. Get that cage open. She's coming with us.
How will she remember us after this moment? I have placed my pieces on the board, as expected, as have you. Is this what she hoped for? Mother and father, locking eyes. Yet still we are blind. Goodbye, Subject Delta. And take heart, for you, at least, have escaped your legacy. What? Chambers waiting on you. Get in there. What are you waiting for, kid? Look at her, Delta. Ten years, and still she dreams of you. Fifty seconds remaining. Do you know why Eleanor brought you here? She wanted a father. So she found a way to restore you in body and mind. And she has been watching you ever since, exalting your every act as gospel. The girl lying on that bed is no longer my child, nor my life's work. She is a monster, shaped by you alone, just as she has always wanted. 20 seconds remaining. But there is one detail of your mutual bond she failed to account for. 
Your body was designed to lapse into a coma when her heart ceases to beat. Eleanor, forgive me. shutting down now naturally but if he dies of trauma he will return elsewhere full restraints at all times no one enters this room until he expires father it's me Eleanor I'm so sorry Mother stopped my heart long enough to sever our bond. Staying near me won't stop you from dying now, or worse. But I can still help you escape. This little sister's brought you something that will allow you to take control of her. a bit strange father but now you can see through her eyes and tell her where to go this is how i brought you back without mother catching on now first let's get you out of here crawl through the vent there She's holding us in. Find a way to slip in there. in here somewhere. Pull it, and it will unlock our cells. Attention! Augustus Sinclair has been sighted within the facility. He will attempt to reach Subject Delta. All family duties are hereby suspended until he is found. What Mother did to me left me very weak, or I would do this part myself. To save 
save your life, I'm going to have to change to be like you. From here, you should be able to locate the pieces of a big sister suit. Please, bring them to me. Eleanor is changing as Delta draws closer. In her sleep, she mutters about having witnessed moments from his journey here. She is beginning to resist the moral conditioning. Eleanor's bond with Delta is turning her from the daughter of the people back into a rebellious child whose voice I do not recognize. Worse, I suspect Eleanor of direct involvement in his return. I fear that to separate them, I may have to, to take measures for which I will be unable to forgive myself. Mother says that my condition is a blessing in disguise. She constantly reminds me that I was born for the express purpose of promoting her ideals. And now, she's trying to convince me to begin splicing with the same cocktail that drove Dr. Alexander mad. She thinks that my condition makes me immune to the damage. The surface is my only chance at freedom. But Mother took the one person I knew from above and murdered him in front of my eyes. Father, if I could only find a way to bring him back.
there's a piece of the suit in here, Father. Find the rest and bring them back to me. Father, stuck in this, this fever dream. Mother kept me sedated in order to perfect my mind with Adam. To her, the ideal child is a genius, serving the common good without questioning it. You have saved me from that. I've been quarantined, but Mother's unaware of the extent of my connections to the new little sisters. I don't just empathize with them, I can control them directly. They are my hands and my eyes now. Better yet, we have found Father's body and took a gene sample. The girls are hiding the samples inside those dolls we used to make. It's only a matter of time before I work out a way to rig one of those Vita chambers to seek his genetic signature. And then, I can't wait to see Mother's face. Other sisters are made from me, in part. As they grow up in rapture, I feel it all. When you were with the little ones, they trusted you as their father, because of me.
mother was right about one thing. I have been watching you, father, studying the way you have treated others. And now I know who I am. After everything Mother has done to me, I am alive and sane enough to be curious about the sun. When you rescued my new sisters, I felt every one, and it gave me hope for the first time in years. We've done it. Father is back, right under Mother's nose. I've contacted a woman named Tenenbaum through my sisters. We've worked out a way to free his mind inside that suit, to awaken the man inside the monster. Mother's entire belief structure is corrupt. And if I know one thing about Father, it's that he will believe and escape. Eleanor, it is time for you to accept your duty to the people. When you awake, you'll understand. No! Get away from me! do the same for all the others, starting with this one. We've done it, Father. I'll be there soon. Suits always did make me think of you, Father. I guess I still remember you in shining armor. But now it's my turn to fight for you. Take this plasmid. You can use it to call me to your side in a fight.
I know you can hear me. You have stolen my life's work, and with it, my only daughter. But Rapture is the house of monsters. The surface will not have us. And now, we shall be buried as a family, side by side. Oh, God. She's going to drop this building into the trench. It's miles deep. We have to find Sinclair. Father, teach them about fire. Well, it works. Who's next? Upstairs, father, quickly. This is Sinclair's lifeboat, Father. Out the window here. It's our only chance of escape. From what I know of Sinclair, he wouldn't just abandon it. Yes, Delta. What of Sinclair? The man who would sell paradise. And where is he now? Warning. Warning. A security, security curfew, curfew is now in effect. effect. All cells and bulkheads are sealed until further notice. This facility hangs over an ocean trench delta. The family has activated timed charges within its foundations. Surrender before detonation, or we shall fall and be crushed in the abyss below. Mother has locked all of Persephone down, including the gangway leading to the lifeboat. We can reverse it from the holding wing, if we hurry. Come on! Use the plasmid if you need me, Father. I'm going to have a look around. Just try and keep me away from my sisters. Please, trust. This one died alone and afraid. Stand in our way, and you'll get the same. Yes, run back to mother.
Subject Delta has escaped. You. Eleanor has turned on her own people. Stand and fight. We all the Orcha family falls together. Think bigger. Throw objects at higher speed or more damage. Enemy in your way? Not anymore. Throw him with the power of your mind. Even the odds with a harder working decoy. Watch as it reflects damage back on distracted foes. Get the most out of your investment. Damage by the decoy is returned to you as health. We have to get you out of Rapture, Father. It's the only way I can save you now.
looks like Sinclair's been ousted. He wasn't slick enough to avoid the boot this time, but at least it wasn't a firing squad. Lamb proved she's got the ear of the general population down here, so it'd probably be prudent to play along for a while, see where this goes. She says she'll let me keep my little fiefdom here in holding, as long as I agree to help supply her therapy sessions. <laughs> no qualms there. These sorry buggers could use some rehabilitation. Alpha Ceres, ready to die for the family. As Persephone's former owner, he is the ideal man to put you back in your cage. Mother's controlling Sinclair, father, and he's got the master key. Catch him! Kid, lambs in my head. I, I can't help myself have to fight just to talk. Left me my goddamn tongue to torture the bomb codes out of me. She wants me to stop you leaving. I... I'm sorry. You fucking serious. absolute definition of despair. Here we are, locked away from the outside world, suspended over a pit with no hope of release. And what's our charge? Ryan has no room for differences of opinion in his precious rapture. I hope the whole thing
place comes crashing down around his ears. you can hear me. I am inside Sinclair's lifeboat now. Delta cannot reach me here, but you can. You need not die with him. We... we shall return to the surface together, if you will only step inside and accept your duty. Remember, Eleanor, Mummy loves you. Ah, oh, yes. Mother's testing me. One last game. Fortunately, by now, I'm the world's foremost expert at breaking her rules. I've made my choice, Father. And if needs be, I'll die for it.
Kid, I'm sorry. I've, I've locked you in here. Lamb's making me dance on her goddamn strings. I can't stop. You're gonna have to break in here and, and put me down. Wish there was another way, but I'd rather die a man than live like this. God, he's right, Father. Mother's betting you'll die in here or that I'll abandon you before the bombs detonate. We can't save Sinclair now. We need that key from him. Find the code to the watchtower or work out a way to draw him out. Son, I built this place and I, I did rent you out to those plasma trials up at Fontaine. And now, now I'm paying for it. Wish I had time to make amends. Take the lifeboat, it, it's all yours. Just don't leave me like this. will, Delta. Eleanor's gift to you. And with each decision, you twisted her into your own image. Sinclair has no such choice. Yet in its absence, he serves the world unerringly. He is now the better man. Death shall be born. She promised. The lad promised. Death shall be no more!
I caught a glimpse of the warden entering the code to the tower today. The last two digits were seven and three. Didn't catch the rest. Maybe I can just figure it out. Trial and error. Wonder how long that'd take. Good. Good, son. That's half the coat. Now find the rest. Maintenance tunnel. Yes, I remember. That could get you near enough to lure me out. Try it, kid. Hurry. When you, when you do me in, kid, don't blame yourself. I, I won't be able to stop from trying to gun you down, but it helps to know that you'll stick it to lamb after, and, and let young Eleanor see the sun. Hey, Murphy, it's Dodge. A little birdie told me you found out the warden's code. Send a message to my cell in Block A, telling me where you hid the code, and I'll consider your debts paid. ignored my warnings for far too long. I'm taking this into my own hands. I secured a hack tool to nullify his turrets and subvert the bots. I also figured out the code. It's two, six, push. That's the full code, kid. You've done it now. Now just come on in here and put me down easy. Do you not see, Delta? You were a thing of beauty when first we met. Non-conscious, yet utterly vital to your city. The flaw was only in your master's intent. It is an error we have corrected in Sinclair. He is bonded to the entire family.
That's how it is down there. What's it? Generous offer. I hit the code in the community bathroom, in the tank of the last toilet on the left. I also stashed some other loot there for a rainy day. It's all yours. Good luck using the code. Sinclair is moving, Father. Track him down. We need that key. Oh, 
Now, Father, I'm afraid that ending the lockdown means releasing all the prisoners. So please, be ready before you use that key on the override switch. Sinclair died a hero of the Rapture family, Delta. Was he a friend to you, or just a tool? Can you even grasp the difference? And Eleanor, you have chosen Subject Delta over your mother, your people, and the duty of your birth. So be it. You believe this craft will carry Delta to safety like a spoilt child with a new toy. I have no choice but to take it away. Curfew lifted. All cell blocks open. All bulkhead seals released. Oh no. Mother's turned her attention to the lifeboat. We must go there, now!
Every moment tears Eleanor further from me, Delta. Soon, this father obsession will end her. You have left me without want. Before you die, I will take all that you hold dear. Sinclair is just another body in your wake. I was afraid of this. Mother has bombed out the ballast compressors, Father. The lifeboat will be too heavy to launch. Unless... Let me think. I think I can boil away the water and get the lifeboat to rise. But I can't generate that much heat alone. It's time to recruit the rest of Mother's little sisters. We're taking them with us. Head to the pediatric wards. I won't let her take you from me again, Father. Hold on! This is not a sermon. I will offer no insight. Every word I speak, you already know. Mother's people are starting to detonate the charges. We don't have long.
What's going on? The Dark Man, the family! How can I help? If you won't come. <laughs> was a physician. He raised me not to echo him, but to model the world as it ought to be. I was to teach a simple moral calculus, each choice as though the world must bear it, each life or death for the common good. He called it the triage imperative and would laugh without smiling. Faulty memory of mine, I need to record a clue so I don't forget the key code. Brown legs, red mouths, blue arms, green eyes. Now to secure this log somewhere. Ugh. of human ironies that our very drive to find utopia has kept us from abiding there.
think I will smile and act as such. Congratulations. You have just experienced the illusion of free will. Now think I will never become angry again and act as such. The illusion begins to break down. Your genes have no objection to an empty smile, but anger to the gene is part of the program. I submit the following conclusion. The gene is the enemy. We're almost to the pediatric ward. I expect we'll be fighting our way inside. Mother, as you've always said, I shouldn't be allowed to wander the city in my condition. But without going outside, it's harder to hear much about the world, so I'm learning at home. This, I think, is our porcelain tea service, in the style of Louis XV. Isn't that right? <coughs> now, that's a fascinating sound. <coughs> and this is called a stained glass window. Handcrafted by your adoring flock. They've gone to a lot of trouble to capture your likeness, haven't they? has been our best father. Haven't I proven myself yet? Where is my reward?
prophet were cast into the lake of fire, and all the birds were... Things aren't so rosy for Lamb's little collective farm down here, no matter how much influence she's got with the inmates. She keeps feeding Ryan more and more of her people for the Big Daddy program, in order to keep the rest of her flock alive. I think she's getting desperate. I ought to have Weir double the orderlies on all the major junctions. Filled with her flesh! Oh, God! <laughs> Need I remind you, Sinclair, that Lamb is your problem now. She's no longer a citizen of Rapture. That was the proviso. You wanted her expertise, and now you have it. Ryan Industries is your client, and we require test candidates from among your charges. The protectors are short. Lamb would be a messiah, correct? Well, sell her a sacrifice to save the flock. When you've cleared them out, I'll need a signal. Push the call button on the window there, and then I'll proceed. Blasphemer! Sodomite! 
I'll wake the children up. They're stronger than they know. With their help, I should be able to boil off the water and get us all out of here. Go on ahead, Father. I'll free them as quickly as I can, just as you showed me. No matter how pure your intent, the surface is not paradise, but perdition. I would sooner see them drown. What is good? Only one definition endures. Good is pleasure in the absence of suffering. Look, Father. I know you may not have wanted a daughter, but love is just a chemical. We give it meaning by choice. I will be damned if I let Mother take you away from me again. But again against all causality. The greater good, therefore, equates to total pleasure over time. The Plasmid Father, just point the way and I'll help you fight. Stand in our way and 
and you'll get the same. That's another charge gone. We have to keep moving. If this building falls, we're all dead. This is not a sermon. I will offer no insight. Every word I speak, you already know. Elena was to be a composite of all Rapture's genius. The first living utopian, serving the world at large with no regard for herself. To force consciousness on such a being is to tear its wings away. That was your gift to her, Delta. Just as she hoped. You must be very proud.
Delta was in top form today. The guards tried to make him take another dose of whatever the hell it is they're pumping into him, and he managed to take on all four of them at once. Snapping legs and arms, blood everywhere. They say one of the guys might not even wake up. I wish I could be that free. Steady, Father. Don't let go now. Wake up! Why don't you wake up? <laughs> Whatever it takes, why are you dragging out? <laughs>
case I heard the wrong of it when it came to Dr. Lamb. She explained how my cravings for control were rotting me out from the inside. We found all these incidents in my log where I made it easy for a convict to get the jump on me, just so I could bloody punish him. Christ. But I believe I can do some good down here now, with the family. Well, we have a shot at surviving the fucking bedlam going on up there. Maybe even take the city back. One of the girls managed to dart past the nurse today and throw herself over the railing in the lobby. Not certain if she was trying to end her own life or, or merely escape. But either way, her legs had healed by the time I managed to get down to the first floor where she lay. Now without proper setting, the rapid healing process had fused her bones back together at odd angles. We had to re-break and set them almost a dozen times, each due to the small window of viability. Now, those children may be immortal, but I can verify, they feel pain. Advising Dr. Lamb on higher doses of sedatives to keep this from happening again.
clip your wings. Let me be. My first incarnation when Dr. Lamb gave me my mandate to alleviate pain was to block its neural pathways. Now, the preliminary results were promising too, until some of the children started chewing their own tongues off out of ignorance. Need to sequester them away from the others so as not to cause undue stress on the remaining subjects. We're nearing another pediatric ward. It will be guarded, Father. Get ready. When you've cleared them out, I'll need a signal like before. Push the call button and I'll proceed.